Hey everyone, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude back with another toy review. Today we'll be taking a look at something a little different from what you guys are used to on the channel. Um, recently my brother ordered three really exciting new Playmobil cars. These are Volkswagen Beetles. They were uh, kind of released or shown to the public late 2020 and then they're up for order in 2021 and they finally arrived. I'm not sure if these guys have hit shelves. I'm sure they're possibly released in uh, where Germany at the moment, where, where the company's based. And I, for one, don't really collect Playmobil, um, though they have some really cool figures, really cool toys, especially in the dinosaur section. But it's just really cool that they released uh, Volkswagen Beetle as my brother collects loads of them. He loves Volkswagens, especially the Beetle. He even has his own, which is very, very, very similar in color to these um, Volkswagen Beetles that were released by Playmobil, kind of similar to the ones in Lego. Um, so let's get a look at these. Okay, to do the honors of opening. So let's show the camera. So as you can see, they come in this kind of blackish packaging with a rendered uh, Volkswagen Beetle on the front with the family inside, kind of on a road trip. On the top, you can see it comes with a roof rack and the features are an opening back hood, officially licensed by Volkswagen as most products do. And it's kind of styled as a road trip like set. It's got a map in the back and the other Volkswagen, this one was also released in the line. It's new, right? The yeah. bus? Yeah. Wicked. And they've got it on the back, kind of simplistic, not a lot of writing, of course. Um, most likely to kind of um, show it off to multiple different languages. And you can see the set contains a roof rack, some luggage, um, three characters from what it looks like, and then some like beach stuff. You got a sandcastle, a little umbrella, a surfboard, some water, and other stuff. I think that's a visor and a mat too. So it comes with a lot of uh, really cool like world building elements, which is really neat. Um, something I'd love to see in the Jurassic Mattel line. And if you order multiple of these, oh look at that, German airbags. I wonder if that's actual German air in there. Um, if you order multiple of these, or um, a certain amount of money, you get a kind of free little poly bag, and uh, you get a choice of, of course, um, like boy or girl brand. Um, so of course, he ordered the guy figure, and it comes with a little human and some extra parts. I think it's got like caveman or like wild man outfit with a little wolf fur hide or something, and maybe like a hockey or some sort of sports uniform. I think that's a hockey stick in there. Yeah, so it comes with little uniforms or outfits for him. Um, so that's pretty cool that by ordering these, you get some extra figures as well. Um, of course, he had to get three of them for customization. Um, one to keep like original in the box, I think, and then two for out of box, or all three are coming out? Just two. Just two. Wicked. So I'm going to be doing a repaint of one of these to stylize it after his Volkswagen Beetle, um, which again is remarkably similar. It just has a little bit of paint detailing on the rims or um, what are these? Fenders. Fenders. I'm not really a car expert. Um, and like parts on here that are painted. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, so let's get one of these guys out of package and see what it looks like. So on the side of the box, you can see there is a kind of tab thing that you lift up and pull. And it's really quite neat because it makes it easier to open these types of boxes. I've seen Lego and even Mattel doing um, boxes like this where there's like easy tabs that just open up, um, make it easier to unbox these. Also on the front, you can notice it says ages 5 to 99, I think, and it has 52 pieces. Kind of like how on Lego sets they have that kind of information on the side. What's going on? Um, seems like you just there's a little bit of glue right here. You just there we go. Alleviate it of the glue, and I'm assuming it will come out in bags. 
so there's the beach stuff, like the umbrella. We've got parts of the car in here. The back, what is this? The trunk, yeah. The trunk part. Um, holy cow, really tiny pieces. Look at that. Got clear kind of light piece. We've got tires with rims. This really does come unassembled. I was not um, expecting it to be like this. I mean, I've never done a Playmobil review, but oh, that's pretty just, neat. That's what I was hoping for. The hubcaps are separate. Neat. I mean that I don't need to put them on and I can do my own rim thing. For customization. Yeah. That's perfect. So I thought, I thought they were all one unit here, these, these things. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I can't take them off. But so the, the hubcaps are, are those like gray discs on the tire. Attached to the white part, right? Yeah, attached to the rim, yeah. Nice. So you get a little book, some, what is that, stickers? What is this? Oh, I think this is like the towel, the beach towel. Um, you get a little 2020 booklet of each set. And uh, Playmobil covers a lot of themes, like Back to the Future, Scooby-Doo, How to Train Your Dragons, Ghostbusters and stuff. So that's really neat that um, it has such a wide a range of like pop culture represented. And what's this? The license plates and a sticker for cooler, I think, question mark? Oh, I think, yeah. Or something like that. Uh, looks like it. And there's a license plates there. Um, these are stickers. So yeah, it's like a Lego set. That's pretty neat. Um, this part here, um, it seems like the packaging is being held on by this elastic band. And taking that off just kind of unravels it, and it's an open bag holding the body of the car. So this is kind of like you're, a, you're in a German kind of car manufacturer plant, and you're assembling it. That's kind of what it reminds me of. I've seen a few videos in school back in the day of all those kind of plants that have it, and this is similar to the process that they do, as they have just the... This is called a chassis, right? Yeah. And then all the parts, usually machines nowadays, just put them all on. And it's on a conveyor belt. And for the tires, they're kind of like Lego tires, or I guess you can say modern <laughs> tires on a car. They've got this kind of uh, little lip inside, and you push this really in. Now. Yeah, it's interesting that usually they do make it a little easier to... Uh, push these in um it would be crazy if Mattel did this to vehicles where you you bought them and assembled them like that um I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter which side of the tire is facing which they both look the same so once you pop it in you kind of have to shimmy the rim in um so and there you go it's kind of like that. Um, looks like my camera's at five minutes. I'll grab a charger. So I'll plug this bad boy in as Emmett works on the tires of the vehicle. Now, scale-wise for the tires, now, I'm assuming a majority of you mostly collect Mattel, but, of course, I'm assuming Playmobil vehicles are kind of in scale with Mattel. Um, seems like the Jeep tires are a little bit bigger than this. Um, but if you compare the Hall of the Beetle, it's a really perfect match. Holy cow. Yeah, because considering how big Beetles are, they're like a small, real small car. Yeah, of course. And, and that's pretty cool that... The Playmobil vehicles, or I'm assuming this one, um, are in scale with Mattel. So it'll be very cool for photography in the future as well, or if you want to extend your vehicle collection. Um, but again, I'm not sure if the rest of the vehicle lineup for Playmobil is in scale with Mattel. We'll have to look at the human figures and see. Well, the, I know the hum they made this a little bigger for the human figures than it should be. From what I can see in the box, because mm -hmm. Beetles are generally really small and be hard to fit figures in, so as a consequence, it looks like it's Mattel scale because oh, so they up the size. They up the size for the human figures just to fit them in, so it would be Mattel scale. That's really neat because 
usually, like you're saying, they're smaller yeah, in size. in real life, when you're sitting in, you're cramped in there. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm like, oh, that's a little large. So in the human poly bag, it seems like you have to put the human together. Um, again, yeah. I'm not too familiar with the construction of these figures, but I'm assuming the legs... Um, Let's let's try the caveman first. Kind of clip into this ball joint thingy. Um, it's kind of loose fitting, but still pretty solid. Kind of on a pivot, and this um, thingy <laughs> clips into here. I love how technical this is. Oh, it just kind of slides in, I guess. And I'm assuming the head has a ball joint that clips into there. Um, where did the head go off to? I'm just getting the motorcycle guy. That's the one that'd be the most useful to build. Okay. Um, you just like pop that head into there. Um Playmobil is still using this hairpiece. What hair is it? That's is, a hairpiece? It's vintage, so like in the eight is what hairpiece looks <gasps> like a Playmobil. Oh, I think this hairpiece goes like Right. But that, yeah. Nowadays you got hair pieces like this guy right here and that guy, like we've come a long way. But I uh -huh. didn't realize they were still using the vintage hairpiece. So this hairpiece was from older like the Playmobiles? 80s, 90s, like the, yeah, all the early Playmobil sets, you had that hairpiece. So no matter how classic Lego had it, but now you got these hairs, which are really cool. I just never thought that they still use them. Huh, so that's, that's pretty cool. that's shocking. And it, like, th this face too, the faces are obviously all uh, yeah. the same, right? Yeah. They might have changed the faces up in later years, but they're mostly oh, almost the same. I think the arms go in like this. I'm just, I'm just not much of a Playmobil expert. <laughs> I just started reading up on it. Of course, of course. I only wanted the Volkswagen, but... I think I you gotta put the arms in before you put the torso in. I think the motocross helmet is classic too, because I remember they had a lot of motocross bikes when I looked at their cat old, old catalog. We're going through it. Mm -hmm. um, there's another arm. I'm I guess just this arm. So you put the arms in and then slide it down so it locks them in. Yikes, this is this is quite a process. It is, it looks like it. I wasn't so, aware. Yeah. I had a friend who told me that it's gonna be difficult. And then the head figures. where'd the head go off there. to? Here. So the head locks the entire body in, and then the hat kinda goes on top like that, and there you go. Wow. <laughs> that was quite the struggle to figure out how to put this guy together. Anyways, so there's a Playmobil figure that comes with. You also get the painter's outfit and the um, sports guy outfit if you order online. Um, so this one retails for, I think, $60 Canadian if you're looking to buy your own Beetle. It's a very iconic car, just like the Jeep. <laughs> The tires are now on, as you can see, and there's the hubcap with the Volkswagen emblem on it, like most have. And does that just slide in there? Is there a clip? I see it now. It's the trial run. <laughs> yeah. I love the detail on that. Look at the front headlights. Wow. I also love that they got the turn signal things in the top, meaning that it's like a late 60s model, so I actually paid attention to that. Interesting details. Because before, they just had no turn signals, so that was a lawless time. Mm -hmm. Then they put them below here, then they put them on the bumper, and then they moved them up here because it was safer. So through the years, they moved around a bit. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what is this piece? That piece. Is that an extra? We'll Some find, little. We'll find out. Huh. We'll just leave it there for now. No stickers is something I'm not good at. Here, I can apply them. As you guys may not know, I am a sticker applying god. I. Uh, as a kid, would practice the profession of expertly placing stickers as they should be. Look at that, right on the bullseye. Now let's try the front, and hopefully I don't screw that one up. I love how it's a kid's toy, but they have like three what looks to be wine bottles or alcohol oh. bottles. 
Well, is, there's a kid in the back too, so yeah, they could be they could be soda bottles. They could be old soda bottles. Yeah, old soda bottles. Who knows? Or maybe they're all just drinking alcohol. It's it's Germany. I don't know the age limits for uh, is beer drinking. Germany, so, yeah. Look at that. It's a different place. We've got those on. Let's take a look at the engine real quick. That's accurate, right? Um, more or less, but. Is it like a fusion of multiple images, or is it like no, it's, a specific year? It's just like the classic bug engine that they always use, like 60 style the carburetors. Nice. But it is a bit simplified, and like it's the belt the way through, like they're running the plastic through places. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, luckily we get the human figures already built, so we don't have to struggle through assembling them, thank goodness. Um, you can see this guy's styled as, what year is this? Like the 60s, 70s. 60s, 70s. He's got a kind of Hawaiian jacket or um, over coat thingy on. Um, and then underneath that very simple lined shirt, very throwback-ish. And even the belt has a little bit of detail on it. And the glasses and the hairstyle definitely um, give a shout out to that time, right? Um, then for the other characters, we've got a, guessing the wife, um, she's also dressed up kind of for the beach, unlike the dude, I mean, maybe that's a beach outfit for back in the day, it's got the Hawaiian shirt on, so, perhaps, and then we've got the kid, which is quite tiny, actually, it's kind of funny the size scale on these guys, um, I guess that's kind of accurate for a kid that size, does he have glasses on? Oh, no, he doesn't. And he's got a little kind of hippie shirt on as well. And sandals. Um, does this character have sandals on? No, just runners. Um, but there's quite a little bit of detail on these figures for being, you know, simplistic Playmobil. But these obviously have a wide range of collector audiences. Um, these guys are around the same size. I'm surprised that they would do this. I don't think... Are these figures like... A solid piece? I think they're a solid piece. Maybe not. I could be wrong. I just don't want to test my luck with them. Oh, look at that. The umbrella sticks into a sand pile, and you can place the sand castles in these little holes. Um, is there another one? Or is this just, like, interchangeable? Let's check the back real quick. Yeah, it just comes with one sand castle. And then you, you're supposed to go, like... You're supposed to have a hair clip, yeah, it says. And then there's this little cooler, and I think the cooler has a sticker, right? Uh, you can assemble the cooler like this. Yeah, the cooler, yeah, the cooler does have number you three. you pull up on it, both these snap into place. Yeah, number three goes on the side with... Yep. Oh, yeah, I think both sides are the same, so it doesn't matter. Okie dokie. And it's cute, this little sticker has, like, a little bear on it with a, what looks to be a icicle, or not icicle, what are they called? Ice pops, something pops. Um, shoot. Oh, look, you got. Oh, that's what that piece is for. I really do be out here forgetting the word for, uh. Freeze pops? No, um. That was a name for them. A friend of mine was saying it like a few days ago. Weird. Someone in the comments, tell me what a frozen, uh, thing on a stick is. <laughs> oh. It's like a little watch here, or a wristband. Yeah, watch on, on this yeah. guy? You know, ladies got jewelry, but it only shows Wait. one arm, yet there's... This doesn't seem to be a watch. Is the guy actually wearing this? He's wearing a watch. Oh, he's wearing a watch. Let's take that off. Man's See, not supposed gets, to be wearing this. It's an extra. You sure? Yeah, because it only shows her to be wearing one in the picture. Let's make her wear two. And is that... Done? Yeah. Looks to be done. Oh, and this, I guess, goes on the surfboard like that. So, overall, this is a really great figure um, set. Comes with a lot of cool world building pieces, tons of little elements, um, beachy kind of vibe to it, which is really cool, especially for the Beetle, as back in the day it was kind of this affordable family car. And um, of course, they'd go down and do road trips to the beach in this little thing. So, yeah. Um, I definitely would recommend ordering this guy if you guys like cars. 
Um, it's online now, and it ships in a reasonable amount of time. It's a good price, too. So anyways, I hope you guys liked this kind of change of videos. Um, I definitely will be doing more mixed reviews in the future as well, um, if this goes well. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.